Hey folks, this is Chris with Oregon Figs. It's March 14th, 2023. And I'm just gonna do a little video explaining how I preserve varieties that I think are worth having duplicates of. So this is my original pot from my original crow's cutting that I got in uh, 2019. It was It's a 15 gallon pot and it's gone in ground. So I think it's early enough that it will ripen its a full crop in ground in Oregon. This is a cutting that I took and started beginning of February of last year. And it's that was it was in a tree pot, a four inch by four inch by nine inch tree pot, and it got up potted to a seven gallon. And for those that think you have to do incremental steps, uh, I'm in a short season cool place, and this is what happens after one year's growth. So you can see I'm already getting the circling. I've got 42 inches of growth. Originally I was gonna put this one in ground and looking back on it, maybe this is the one I should have put in ground because it's got a better shape. So I'm gonna continue to grow it like I'll be putting it in ground in the future and maybe I'll take another cutting off the top and grow another tree of it because it's that good. But uh, you can see what's going on here. Okay. So what I'll do, and after one year, the, the growth isn't intense, but it's beginning that circling process. So I'll just take, I'll just take my hands, and I'll just work those little roots out a little bit. Go around the root ball, and just work it around. And then if I get into something that's too big, like that's pretty good. This one here is pretty good size. I may have to cut that. I try to avoid cutting on trees that are only one year old, if I can help it. I'm just massaging with my hands. Soil's wet, so it's real easy to do this. Okay, so there's one that was kind of wanting to circle, and I'm just gonna say you're not gonna circle. I might cut it off at the bottom a little bit because it's really, really long, but I'm not gonna let it circle. So the thing about circling is that eventually these roots will get a lot of diameter to them, and if they're circling, they'll actually get bigger and bigger and they'll continue to squeeze the root ball and they'll slow the tree down. So circling is something you don't want. And uh, if you up pot a vigorous tree after year one, you will see that just with a little bit of massaging and manipulating, you can see how easy this is. See, my, my mix has a lot of uh, the fir pebble bark in it and you can see it in there along with the perlite. And that's another nice thing is the mix that I use, it facilitates up potting really well because it, uh, come, the soil mix comes right off the root ball. All right, we're getting there. Patience, but you can see I'm just doing this with one hand as I'm doing a YouTube video. <laughs> so it's not like this is difficult. <clears throat> All right, this is the one I'm a little bit concerned of right here. And uh, let's see what's going on with it. What's going on? Where's it coming? Okay, so that was going up above. See how that grown from the middle of the pot to the top of the pot, and it was beginning to circling. So I'm just gonna detach it and run it out there. So now all the circling has pretty much ceased. You can see the, the these are the feeder roots you get on the top, almost like a, a little dense mass. You see a lot of small roots. Those are awesome. So let's pull her out and take a look at it. Okay. So we're going to stretch out the roots. This is about a perfect time. So we're looking at, this is a two foot distance. So it's just about two feet to the bottom. Now I'm going to go through and I will cut the roots right in here. I'll probably take that much of the roots off. I'll just cut them off with a utility knife and then it'll go from there into the 15 gallon. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> Having you along is wonderful, but sometimes somewhat inconvenient. All right, let's see if we can do this with one hand. Not too bad. All right, now, so I've cut off just the bottom of it, right? Let's see what it looks like in comparison to this 15 gallon pod. Just about the same. So I'm gonna go in here 
Now, when I I'll have to put some in the bottom of the pot because I'm gonna have to raise it up about three inches. Because this is has the cutting is pretty much hidden that I made this from. I'll just run my soil right to that level right there. I'll center it in the pot. I'll have this area right here down from the lip, this lip of the pot by about two inches. So this will be about two inches down. It'll be in the center of the pot. And this is the potting mix that I made in my cement mixer at uh, the lake house. A lot of perlite, a lot of pebble bark, and you can see the advantage of that pebble bark once again. Now, as, it, as time goes by, this pebble bark will actually just break right down. It's amazing. One more year, this would be circling severely, and I'd have to cut the roots. I wouldn't be able to pull it out with my hands like that. Uh, the pebble bark would be, getting, be starting to disintegrate. So this is a perfect time to do it. Once again, this distance, this height for one year cutting, uh, 42, that's about as much as we can ever get. I've seen 53 is the most I've gotten in one year on a, training into a single stem. So this is crows. This is why I go from four inch by four inch by nine tree pots to the seven gallon injected, injection molded pots. And I label them with the year that I started. I love these pots. And the great thing about these pots is, yeah, they're a little bit more money. People were giving me a hard time about spending this much money on these pots. These pots will last year after year after year, and the sun won't degrade them and they won't become brittle. So what may seem extravagant to some, uh, that I'm spending too much money on pots, you're actually doing a good thing for the environment. You're taking a pot, reusing it, reusing it. And I'm at the stage now where I'm not doing any more cutting, so I'm actually giving these away to friends. So it's worth spending the extra money. Injection molded is really a good way to go. And uh, not, a, not a bad thing to spend a little bit more money up front sometimes. And I think you've seen my videos on crows. I've had a tasting videos on it. If you haven't, go into, uh, I've got a whole a playlist of tasting videos. And I did a tasting video on this uh, last year that uh, really shows, shows what, it's, what it's all about. Um, still question mark whether it's a Mount Etna. I believe it is a Mount Etna. Um, it's acting a lot like a Mount Etna, but it isn't 100% proven yet. But I've seen the leaf pattern. I've seen the size and the shape of the fig, the taste of the fig. It's just an upper tier uh, Mount Etna, in my, in my opinion, kind of like Red Lebanese Macaw Valley. Hey, thanks for coming along on this journey. Uh, hope this helps and shows that you don't have to be afraid of going from four by four by eight four inch by four inch by nine inch tree pot straight into seven gallon. And though it may be beneficial to up pot in stages for fruit trees or slow growing trees, it's not necessary with fig trees. Fig trees write different rules. Fig trees roots grow so fast that it's not anything you need to worry about whether it's gonna fill the pot. I mean, you can see this is in a short season cooler climate, and that's one year. So for those that say, oh, you need to do it incrementally, I say try it this way. <laughs> it works. I've been doing it for five years, and it works. And it works just fine like this. And it saves steps and makes, makes it easier. And I'm all about making things easier when they don't need to be made more difficult. Hey, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe and like this video. You know, a like is an easy thing to do, and it's really appreciated um, by, I'm sure, most people that put out videos. It's it's a little pat on the back and a way of saying thank you, and maybe, it's, maybe it internally validates what we're doing a little bit, so I appreciate it, and I know that. So uh, until the next one, we're going to have a really fun video from the orchard this year. Um, I've doubled the size of my orchard and been moving trees, and it looks really nice, and I'm really excited to show it to everybody. Okay, we'll see you in the next one.